friends and welcome to my, well, not first, second October grocery haul and how am I doing update on my $100 grocery budget for the month. I had a little bit of a hiccup today and that's because everything you see right here, I had not planned on buying. Um, let me back up. Now, for the last two days, I've like gone through all these cookbooks, pulled out all these recipes. I had written down the recipes, where I found them, the ingredients I needed to buy. I had even already put my Walmart grocery order together. I wouldn't even have to go in the store. I didn't put it in yet because I was gonna record it for you. Like, this is what I'm doing, this is my meal plan. I was gonna put that order in for tomorrow. And this was gonna be a two week, two week meal plan, which would take me almost to the end of October. It was gonna cost me $42. And then I went into town because I had to buy spray paint. That's a whole nother story. I'm doing a separate video on that. So keep your eyes open for kids' bedroom makeovers. Literally every single store in my town does not have this spray paint. I live in a small town, you guys. So I had to go into the main town to go buy it. And while I was there, I'm like, oh, my dog's out of dog treats. Let me run by Sam's. That's not in the grocery budget, okay? That's like in the household budget. So I got the dog some dog treats. And I'm like, you know what? I'm right next to Smith's. It's like two, it's like a quarter mile away. Let me run in, see if they have any clearance produce. Just a quick in out. Maybe get a couple of bell peppers for my daughter and pick up my Friday freebie before it expires. That was the only plan, was to go into Smith's, get my Friday freebie, which was this. By the way, I didn't pay for that because it was the digital coupon. Check for like bell peppers or cucumbers or, or something and out. I apparently have no willpower because that is not what happened. I spent $32 on everything that I'm about to show you. Every single thing was on clearance, except for the milk, $1.69 a gallon, so I got two. Price stickers are on everything I'm gonna show you. I will show you what I picked up, and then we'll talk about what my meal plan's gonna be for the next, hopefully, 10 days. Let's go over it, shall we? Here is everything I picked up today. Friday freebie, like I said, in the bakery clearance, they had the Dave's Killer Bread Raisin the Roof for 99 cents a loaf. This stuff is bomb. Like, it's so good. I bought five. And these are gonna go in the freezer and we'll pull them out as we need them. Original 4.99, I paid 99 cents. Holy mother, that's a deal. I couldn't not do it. I mean, come on. This huge veggie tray was 250. I'm actually not gonna use it as a veggie tray. I'm gonna take all these things out and use the veggies in assorted places. And we're gonna use this ranch just as ranch for salads. Sweet kale salad for 99 cents. This cranberry walnut salad for 99 cents. If you guys had these, I have not tried these. Fresh veggie noodles, spicy Thai. These are 99 cents each. I'm probably gonna do these for lunches for the next two days. And Dave's gonna do like these. This is kohlrabi noodles, kale, carrot, spicy Thai sauce, and toasted coconut. 200 calories per bowl. I mean, it looks good, right? Faye, uh, strawberry yogurt was $1.89 for a four pack, so I grabbed two. Ever since I had my oral surgery for my tooth implant, I've been like living off of yogurt and I need the calories. I have lost like five pounds in the last five days because I can't chew much. Two gallons of milk, like I said. 89 cents for one sweet heat sriracha dressing. Dave is going to love this. If you guys haven't had the Bolt House Farms salad dressings, they are money. Go get them. The ranch is so good. Four of the bell peppers and one of cucumbers. We're just gonna slice these and probably that for snacking. And then the rest of these is gonna be a meal. I'll tell you about that later. They had a holy guacamole for 99 cents. Had to get it. One pound of deli fresh oven roasted turkey breast, 3.59, normally 5.99. Look at this deal. These are like $3.99 each in the store and I got them for 99 cents each for one pound. I'm excited to show you the recipe. Uh, I think I'm gonna like make a video on the recipe for what I'm gonna do with these. I'm gonna do this tomorrow. I'm gonna cook it tomorrow, video will come out after that. And 
one organic power greens baby spinach baby kale for $1.49. Here's what I've learned on organic le lettuce. Do you know what that means? It means that there's more bugs in it. That's what that means. Every time I get organic lettuce, there are bugs all in it. That's what I picked up. I feel like this is a quite a healthy smattering of ingredients, except for that, but what am I gonna do? So let's go over the meal plan for the next, uh, let's see how far we can make it <laughs> right now. Meal plan, I put it in my planner, crossed out all the old stuff and put it in the new stuff. I'll put the list and links down below if I've got links for you. Here we go. This will cover the next 12 days, which will take me through October 21st. So I will need to do another pickup on the 21st to get me through the last 10 days. Unless I can be really creative and stay out of the store, but we'll see. Sour cream, low carb, hang on. Low carb sour cream beef bake. That's what the cauliflower is for. I will make a video on that. Breakfast dinner bowls with like sausage, eggs, potatoes, and cheese. Panera baked potato soup, I have a video on that. Hot sausage minestrone soup, fajitas with all of these. I have chicken, I have onions, I have corn tortillas. I have a ton of frozen catfish, so we're gonna do fried catfish. We're also gonna do baked tilapia because I still have tilapia in the freezer. I have lasagna on here, which might turn into baked ziti because I don't have the cottage cheese or ricotta. We're gonna have a leftover night. I'm gonna make nacho lasagna. I've had that in a video before. It's basically like layered nachos. And then paninis, like right at the end there. And then another leftover, like clean everything out. So that will take me th to the next, what I say, 12 days. Link down below, I've got two nights of leftovers. Can I stay out of the stores? The question remains. One of the reasons I love to keep a very, very well-stocked pantry spice cabinet freezer because I, when I look for a recipe and I'm like, oh, hey, I wanna make lasagna, the only thing I need to buy is cottage cheese. I have everything else, right? Uh, which makes my weekly and monthly grocery shopping and bills quite low. I'm gonna take all the fancy meals I had put together and, and push them back to the last part of the month. So I've spent $73 and that's gonna take me through the 21st of October. So I only have 27 more dollars to spend. So we're gonna have to be creative for sure. That last little bit, really digging out things I have in the freezers. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys liked the grocery haul and the fact that I mess up sometimes, but it's okay because we can like change up our plans, right? I hadn't put in my Walmart grocery order, so it's okay. I think I actually got better deals on this stuff. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet and you wanna hang out with me later. I'll see you guys next time.